you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If the agreement doesn't work, change the agreement. Create a new one, man. Use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 601, NASDAQ up 263, SP's up 20, up 72. You gotta love this market, man. No doubt. Gold. Gold contract flat, 1809 an ounce. You got the silver market down 14 cents, $24.97 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck, $67.42 a barrel, notes and bonds. Ten year note. Down 16, 134.20, the 30 year off 25 at 165.12, and King Dollar. King Dollar's up 61 ticks, trading at 92.952. Euro 117, yen at 109.82, and the British pounds at 136 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so this is going to get pretty cool here, folks. we got a nice tradable market here, man. So we take a look at the S&P. Spies are up $6.90. Now, what's going to happen here? Now, they never make it easy, meaning when you're looking at the market, because we're going to have um, divergence, and this is what it is. So the SPY is actually going to have volume, folks, which is fabulous, okay? So the SPY is saying we're going to all-time highs. What we did here yesterday is that you, you get down, you go, we're down fast and furious, no doubt about that, man. SPY had big volume, 170, 147 million. That being said, didn't break, a, well, it didn't break a major swing. The major swing of the SPY was 414. You got the 4, well, 421. You get an acceleration of volume out here today. So that's saying that, it's going to go after the all-time highs. Now, watch this. We get the Qs, which have been leading the market, and they're, they get a different story. Now, the Qs saved the market yesterday. If you uh, happen to be listening yesterday, right at the close, it was really so as cool as you can get. It accelerated into the close. The Qs closed over 354.42. That was your, your heads up that, okay, we're going for the highs. Okay. Now, that being said... What you have out here is this. You're up $5.08. You have a huge contraction in the Qs. That tells me that, number one, we're going to go for the highs, okay, um, because we're so close to it. Number two, though, I suspect what we're looking at in the Qs, and this we really won't watch like a hawk, is that if, in fact, we get up into those highs and then you reject price, that is saying that it will push us into a consolidation for a bit. That's how, that's how I'm reading this. Going to be really cool watching this shake out. Now, the small caps get a whole different ball game going. The small caps did exactly what they were supposed to do, meaning they come down to the bottom of their consolidation. We'll see this. We'll put this on a weekly. And what you're going to see is that the bottom of this consolidation, and th this is going to be the heads up at the end of the week, folks, to see where the market's going. Because if, in fact, the small, if the small caps do have lighter volume than what they were testing. That's telling me that, guess what? They're not even going, they're going to all-time highs, but that might be an ABC structure on the way up. And then on top of that, what it would mean is that the divergence that I just talked about between the Qs and the spies, that'll get settled. And now the way that would get settled is that the Qs would actually accelerate with volume tomorrow. So this is going to be intriguing watching. And then now let's go to Netflix, because my take on Netflix is that Netflix is going higher. Netflix, okay, I, I, I get the gist, okay, you know, as to the aspect of are they growing, not growing, what are they doing? Well, bottom line, as far as I'm concerned, it has volume at all these highs. So my take is that we're going higher. And not only that, what you did is that you, you went higher last week and gave it up on price. So this is going to be really intriguing. The, you got a high volume high at 593. The reason I'm bringing up Netflix is Netflix is coming out with numbers after the close out here today. Um, Netflix is going to be looking to do, let's see what they're looking to do. They're looking to do uh, $7.3 billion to the top line and $3.14 to the bottom line. So we'll see how that shakes out. Um, bottom line is that they're getting into gaming and, you know, you get the pros and cons there. And as I, I was just talking with Tommy about Netflix in general, 
And the bottom line is that, um, so picture, we know that there's only a few games that have been popular and, in fact, have been popular uh, since um, <laughs> the last 40 years, man. I mean, you know, not, I'm not a gamer, okay, but uh, the bottom line is that even if you're not a gamer, you know that there's three or four games that everyone plays and the rest of them, who knows what happens to. We'll see where it shakes out. My take, Netflix is going to come out with numbers. Bottom line, the stock wants higher price. I bring that up because I bring it up in the aspect of where the queues want to go. Notes and bonds. Oh, I didn't do that thing. Okay, so let's go take a look at the note and bond market. Bottom line, it looks like to me the note and bond market just finished an ABC structure on the way up. Uh, we had taken out, I can do this quick. Okay, so let me see. 134, because I already had the number. 134. 134, 134, 131, two and a half points, 134, 135. Yeah, it did. Okay, so so this is this is one of these. This is pretty cool. This is an ABC structure that did finish and did something other than keep going the same way. The the note, note and bond market that is almost the exact price projection when you do the A to B equals C to D and the a in this point is uh, 131.24. That's the low that was established out here June 25th. The B point is July 8th. That was 134.03. So bottom line is that um, we'll see how this shakes out. Now, what you're going to look for in the note and bond market is how do you get, how does the pullback come in? The pullback, the pullback's on light volume again. Guess what? Higher you go. Some of the higher volume equities here. And what do you see? Moderna, man. <laughs> Moderna's on a ride. No doubt about that. Some of the higher volume stocks out here, we got uh, AMC saved itself again. That's up $5. You have uh, American Airlines up buck forty-eight. We got Wells Fargo up $2. Let's go look at Moderna, M-N-R-A. This went to all-time highs. In fact, this is up, up like 100% in about a month. Okay, so if we look at this, this hit 342 today and gave it up in spades and literally 10 trading days ago it was at 214. yeah so 214 to 342 to 10 days now the cool thing about moderna is that that's going to have a high volume high you know so we'll see how, how far the pullback wants to come stay right there folks come right back